Yeah, I'm really excited. I picked up this last night. Uh, advertised on my favorite Kijiji. I had an image like this and an image like this. And I could tell it looked like a palm grin. So picked it up. It's the first thing I saw on the side here, if it'll focus. It's a number 30 palm grin. Chicago Tools. Something or other. Tools and Company. I don't know. So, they, uh, so I looked on eBay last night. They sell these for anywhere from sixty to eighty bucks, and the shipping is another, you know, thirty to fifty dollars. Uh, it mentioned the number thirty. Some of them were two and seven sixteenths, and this is exactly two and seven sixteenths. Uh, so it's a pretty small little vice. It's got a little, a uh, little bit of a bend in that handle. So I'll just straighten that and put it in the inventory for metal working. It's in really nice shape, like there's not one peck mark anywhere on this. So rarer than rare to find that. And it's got these weird pads on here. These are really old and kind of disintegrating. So it was probably not used for uh, drill press work at all, I'm guessing. So I'll razor blade those off. And uh, yeah, there's a little mark on that. Like the threads are a little damaged in that one spot. But other than that, this thing is mint. And uh, it's not the kind of thing we find around here. I have an Aaron, it's made in Japan, almost identical to this square on this end here. I should get it out, we'll compare the two. Uh, I think it's almost the same size, pretty much. So there they are beside each other. Now, is that a carbon copy of a palm grin, or is it a palm grin? I mean, I've never owned a palm, a palm grin uh, drill press vise. It's an Aaron, E-R-O-N, made in Japan, which Japanese, in my opinion, make really, really high quality tools. You know, they make probably some cheap stuff too, but uh, except for this being around here, and this one's perfectly square. They're pretty much identical. If the name wasn't on here, I would pretty, I would guess that's got to be a palm grin, but handle's a little longer, a little beefier. I like this handle a little more than this little tiny thing. But, you know, it is so nice to have good quality tools. It's very dirty. I thought this was all rust around here. From the uh, pictures he had, they're very yellow, so I thought it was all rust. But there's no, no real rust on here. It's got two screws there. This one's got two screws, same spot, almost the exact same size. This is a punch press piece. That looks like it might have been machined to fit there. I don't know. Bandsaw cut. I don't know. But. Uh, now this one's got the extra little step right there. Palmgren doesn't, it's just straight. Uh, neat to compare. Is it the grease on this thing is really, really dried out and sticky. It's very sticky. So I think it's gonna go in some boiling water, soapy water, and we'll give it a good scrubbing. I might take it apart. I wasn't planning on doing a restoration, but I might. And here's what happens when you have it in an unheated shop. I think this is the last winter it will be an unheated shop yeah i'm gonna start heating it i think in january so really glad to get this little vice and i think it's i think it's the same size yeah two and seven sixteenths in metric i don't know what that is Thought I'd just share that with you guys and it's kind of an early Christmas gift for me because nobody really knows what to get me as far as tools go they don't even know where to buy them never mind what to buy so that's what happens when you end up like <laughs> with the interest I have anyway I'm going to cut some wood right now I just got this chainsaw filed up chain's almost finished on this so I've got a 
10 or 15 trees that are laying on the ground I'm going to clean up and then the wood pile is going in the basement so yeah I thought I'd just share this one little you know nice collection tool collection it's getting better and better I bought a couple other uh, bigger vices than this they're upstairs in the shop and I bought I think I'm, I'm on one of my earlier videos this summer and uh, there are no name brands there's no name on them so I assume they're made overseas but uh, they seem pretty good quality too but so finally my first palm green vice glad to get it thanks for watching